Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the January 26th, 2023 work session of the Penfield Planning Board. We'll begin the meeting with a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Okay, Lori, would you please call the roll? Yep. Hetsky? Hetsky here. Burton? Burton here. Knauer? Knauer here. Tidings? Tidings here. Sankster? Sankster here. Weissar? Weissar here. O'Connor? O'Connor here. Prinzing? Prinzing here. Gray here. I feel like they have to get it in the shot. All right. Weissar here. Peter wants to be on TV. <laughs> All right, we have minutes from the January 12th uh, uh, meeting. Tidings approve. I'll second. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. All right. Doug, do you want to start going through our agenda items? All right, uh, so starting with agenda item number one, uh, 1787 Fairport Nine Mile Point Road, the Pathstone Project. Um, at this time, we have no new information for the board, uh, so you guys can continue to table that. Okay, I'll move to continue tabling. I'll second. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. All right, application number two, 2130 Fairport Nine Mile Point Road, uh, the Chick-fil-A. Uh, likewise, uh, back in October, they had submitted a letter requesting to be tabled, and uh, we have not received any new information from them. Okay, All right. somebody want to, Jim, you want to move to table? Yeah. Continue. Fighting second. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. <coughs> Tidings, aye. <clears throat> Application number three, 2070 Empire Boulevard, the Argini substation 55 rebuild. Um, ahead of the last meeting, we'd received a letter from the applicant stating that they were still working on uh, addressing the comments of the board. Um, they did state their intention uh, is likely to come back on um, March 9th, uh, but that they may submit informa new information for the board's review uh, at one of the February meetings. So until then, um, you guys are comfortable continue tabling it. Okay. Okay. Sidings so table. I'll second. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. All right. Application number four, 2305 Penfield Road, <coughs> lot uh, subdivision. So just prior to the last meeting, the applicant had submitted uh, some responses to comments and revised plans. Um, we hadn't had a chance to really take a look at them ahead of that meeting. Um, staff has reviewed it and has uh, issued a new PRC memo. Um, there are, um, running through the big changes, um, they've uh, reduced it from three lots to two lot subdivision. Um, since there was some concern that uh, the third lot would have uh, whatever stormwater maintenance facility um, and would be required to cover the maintenance of that. Um, Matt, Matt will be bringing it up in just a second. Um, they are now showing a pond. They did do some deep hole testing, provided some preliminary data on uh, soil adequacy. From the basic numbers that have been submitted, um, it appears that they could uh, utilize a pond for stormwater maintenance. Um, so they have shown that in lieu of um, a private pump station pumping to a county system. <clears throat> Unfortunately, um, as we were doing the PRC memo, there was a lot of comments from November that hadn't been addressed. Um, a lot of them were technical items, um, but we issued a new PRC memo reiterating uh, a lot of the concerns that we had from back in November. Um, as well as um, in revising the plans, there were uh, a lot of new technical issues on the plans. The 
stormwater. Erosion control doesn't meet DEC standards. Uh, contour lines that don't match up or don't meet up. Um, still missing information where the sidewalks are, easements on the property. Uh, a lot of the technical items we want to see on the plans. <coughs> So, okay. we, so we did send them a new PRC memo with uh, quite a lengthy PRC memo, and it was provided for the board as well. All right, so I guess I'll move to continue to table pending applicant submission of responses to uh, all the PRC memos um, to date. And aren't we looking for a, an official licensed surveyor to... That was one of the other technical items we had initially requested um, because it is a subdivision and a subplat. Um, the drawing wall, um, Rod is a professional engineer. Um, PEs can't stamp survey plats, I believe. Um, so a licensed land surveyor would have to um, stamp the, the document, certify the document. Um, at this point, uh, we've only seen unstamped documentation. Um, so we'd like to see a, a, a survey doc. plat be stamped by a licensed land surveyor so we can be sure that if it's approved that it can be filed. Okay. So with those conditions, move to continue tabling. We have a second? Yeah, I'll second. <coughs> Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Burton? Burton, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. Tidings? Tidings, aye. Okie dokie. Next application, 1922 Empire Boulevard, uh, go car wash. Um, so since our last meeting, the applicant appeared before the zoning board last Thursday. Uh, the zoning board just ahead of their meeting received public comment from um, Baytown Plaza. Uh, the representatives from Baytown Plaza had uh, several concerns. Um, generally around um, the size of the project on the size of the property. They felt was um, the project was too large for the property. Um, and then around generally around traffic. Um, they were concerned about queuing. Um, they were, uh, were concerned there is an existing cross access between um, 1922 and Baytown Plaza. It comes in sort of next to the Debellas there between Debellas and the, the uh, at least a Speedway gas station. Um, so they were concerned that there would be excessive traffic leaving that site and going through Baytown Plaza site to access the signalized intersection. Uh, so the zoning board tabled the application. I know the zoning board has requested some additional information from the applicant, um, specifically looking at um, accident information um, uh, as well as um, some queuing information and um, to work with the neighboring property of Baytown Plaza on um, the um, rights and responsibilities uh, over the existing cross access agreement. I noticed the comment from the Baytown Plaza owner, DeMarco Group, about the dumpster and then it would require um, a truck to go onto the uh, DeMarco's property. And I don't completely see that as a need on the site plan, unless I'm missing something. I, I believe their concern is that the, the, the truck will come off of Empire Boulevard um, and the dumpster enclosure is just to the right. Uh, of the entrance to up. the interior uh, to, to the cross access to baytown so yep. i believe their concern is the truck's going to come in off of empire boulevard <clears throat> pull in pick up that dumpster um, and then instead of turning around to exit will um, oh. just exit through okay the baytown plaza property yeah yeah i did watch the uh, zoning board meeting that night and uh, they had a lot of concerns um doug Include that in our Google Drive. I don't know if you guys had time to take a look at them, um, but there's letters from DeMarco Group dated two different dates, 19th or 20th or whatever, and then uh, the concerns maybe <coughs> of the zoning, or if you get the time to watch it. But 
you know, I'm sure I'm going to probably uh, make a motion tonight to uh, give you guys time to take a look at it. In case mm -hmm. you guys hadn't had a chance yet, but they brought up some valid points to, you know, not only between the DeMarco group, but traffic and things of that nature. So that's all I have to say about it right now. And when you guys are, you know, got any, you know, I'll make a motion when you guys are ready to unless so I got believe the applicant did request to be tabled um, mm -hmm. until the end of February, which will get them through the next zoning board meeting. I'm expecting that we'll see um, changes to the plans to address the comments that the zoning board brought up. I just want to make sure the planning board was aware of where the conversation was going, um, especially with the zoning board. Um, but we'll likely see revised plans um, at some point uh, prior to the the zoning board meeting in February. Okay. Anybody else have any comments on it? Uh, holding pattern. Good. Terry I'll make board. the motion on the table then uh, if everybody's good with it. Do we have a second? I'll yeah, I'll second. Second. Go ahead, Jim. We'll give this one to Burton. <laughs> Gotta be quick, Bob. <laughs> Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. That's the first one I slipped in in about six weeks. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so our next one um, is uh, the Wellsbrook sketch plan. <coughs> um, so staff did, dress, did draft a sketch letter uh, for the board's review uh, for issuance. Um, we tried to incorporate all of the board's concerns as well as the public's. Yeah, does anybody have anything additional to add to the letter? You know, I think most of the salient points were covered. Yeah, I, I reviewed the letter and I know um, also at the meeting, I think there were some additional residents that weren't contiguous to the property that was going to be on the contact <coughs> list from a developer. So if we could just in the second paragraph just say the board has reviewed the proposed development. The, uh, I think uh, yeah I can modify that. Yeah. Was Crosstown going to have another meeting with the uh, area residents and these people that Bob's making reference to? I, I don't know we were going to give sure, them time to I'm, do that. I mean, it, it like that. I mean, they, they shared contact good. information, so I would mm -hmm. assume the residents right. could now contact Crosstown Direct. Yeah. Right. I don't know if he was going to have another <clears throat> organized meeting, but oh. he invited them to, yeah. to uh, share their concerns with him and that he would respond. Um, yeah. right. right. Does somebody want to move to send the letter? Yeah, I'll move to... Uh, Send the sketch letter to the applicant. Do we have a second? I'll second. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. All right. Then the last item we have is a miscellaneous item. Um, back in February of two, 2022, the planning board approved a 17 lot subdivision at 2745 Penfield Road. Um, our approval, site plan approvals expire after one year if construction has not uh, commenced. The applicant submitted a request to get an approval extension. They're still working with the engineering department on construction phasing and letter of credit um, and construction sequencing. Uh, so they've requested uh, an approval extension. For how long? Um, generally, we've done them from anywhere from 90 days to one year. They did not specify a time frame. So in previous requests for extensions, we, uh, we've been trying to make sure that we err on the side of giving them enough time so they don't have to come back to the board again. <coughs> is, it just, is it just for? A one year extension would be, would be. Would be appropriate? Would be appropriate. I think we've done that in um, other instances and I think okay. that's been an uh, appropriate amount we'll of time. Move to uh, Where was grant this? the extension for Jim, a year. Which one was this? Where was it? It's out by uh, Bercolo on 441. Near the landscaping place there? Yeah. Was that the one with the pond in the back? They were going to move the pond? Is that the one? I don't know if they're going to move. Yeah. No, they're going to. Um, yeah, they yes, yes, they're going to move. The, 
the pond that they put in by mistake? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's all been satisfied? Um, they haven't started construction yet, which is why they're coming for the approval extension. Once they start construction, their, their approval would be um, uh, vested. Um, so they haven't started construction yet because they're still going through with the engineering department looking at um, phasing the development out, doing it in, in, um, in more sections than originally they were looking at um, just for financing reasons. Um, so, but they're still going through with the engineering department on, on um, how they're going to start the project, constru construct the project. Mike, sign it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> So, Jim, you move to approve it for one year extension for one year. Do you have a second? Yeah, I'll second that. <coughs> Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Burton. Burton, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. Okay. Quick meeting. That's all I had for you guys. It, we, I got an email uh, this afternoon from... Uh, Ralph, did Garth contact yes. town about a subdivision? Lot line shift or something? Yeah, they're looking to do that uh, in March as a, as a March application. Okay. All right. Well, um, there being no further business before us, we will adjourn. Thanks, everybody, for coming. <laughs>